Hi everyone and welcome, James here from SOS. Today we've just got a short little tutorial on how to create a rolling tech trance bass line. Uh, similar in style to artists such as uh, Jordan Suckley and maybe Chris Weiser. Uh, first of all, uh, the tempo of our project today is going to be 138. You'll generally find tech trances in the range of 138 to 142 beats per minute. Uh, so 138 will work for us just fine. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is load in a kick drum. Uh, so today we're going to work with Sonic Academy's Kick 2. Uh, to load that up, I'll just go up to this little plus symbol. Software instrument, uh, go down and select Sonic Academy Kick 2. Hit Create. Uh, this is a brilliant kick synthesizer. It's also got a lot of um, really brilliant presets in here as well. And today we're going to work with Trance 138 and Kick number 7 which sounds like this. It's a nice um, snappy kick drum with a nice resonant attack to it. I uh, quite like it indeed. Uh, one thing to note is the pitch is um, all handled within Sonic Academy's kick to itself through this pitch style. Uh, so we won't have to worry about where we place it on our piano roll in a moment when we draw in some MIDI notes because uh, we pitch our kick drum from here. We're going to leave it with G. Might just quickly uh, tighten it up a little bit. Yep, that's great. Uh, close that down. Um, I'm going to draw in some MIDI notes for our kick now, just drawing a four on the floor pattern. Uh, to do that, I'm going to right click in this in the workspace here, uh, hit create MIDI region, and then to open the piano roll, I can either um, select the region and hit P on my keyboard or just double click the region. Uh, once I've got that open, I can then hold command to get my pencil tool and then just pencil in four notes just there. Again, doesn't matter where we put it on the piano roll here as the pitching is handled um, inside kick two. I might just turn it down for a fraction as well to start. Great, and I'm going to double click the track name here and rename this uh, kick drum. Okay, great, now onto the bass. Um, we're going to use silent. Uh, Command option S is shortcut for new software channel. Command option A is the shortcut for audio channel, so. They're only focused with uh, software at the moment. Click the drop down and I'm going to load up Silent. Now we're going to synthesize the baseline from scratch here. A very straightforward, very easy baseline to make actually. Uh, only uses one oscillator, one voice, uh, and it's all about the uh, modulation envelope and the filter cutoff. So, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is clear the preset. So, if we go to menu, we go to preset clear slash initialize. Uh, we're left with a blank slate to work with. So we'll just have a basic saw like this. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to uh, shape the amp envelope. Uh, we want it nice and plucky, so I'm going to bring the sustain down and bring the decay up a little bit, maybe a little bit of release as well. there. Um, with that done we can go onto the filter, set it to low pass, leave it on 24 dB, um, bring the cutoff back a little bit and then go down to our modula modulation envelope 1, set that to cutoff A and again we'll just dial back on the sustain, bring up the decay a little bit and maybe a little bit of release. Uh, before we do that we want to turn the amount all the way up. somewhere around there. Um, Silent uh, has a really nice filter drive, which I'm just going to turn up a little bit. Um, drop it down an octave as well. And the filter control cutoff, I'm going to dial back a bit as well. Okay. 
and then a bit of distortion, um, leave it on overdrive, pull back on the dry wet and probably the amount as well. Yep, that's nice. Um, so that's about it. It's pretty straightforward for the uh, synthesis. Uh, one saw oscillator, one voice, uh, nice tight um, amplitude envelope, and then assign your filter modulation envelope. And just dial in the uh, decay, sustain, and release for that as well. And then you can shape how open it is with these two uh, cutoff dials. Great. Um, so I'll close that down. Uh, we'll put in the MIDI notes now. So if I right click in the workspace again, create MIDI region, I'm just going to draw in three sixteenth notes, um, leaving space for the kick. So I'll just find the G that we want to sit on. That one there. Pull back on the note length. Just copy these across. And we have something that sounds like this. Okay, just going to pull back on the volume on the kick a bit more. And then we'll look at adding some uh, processing to this bass line. Uh, first of all, I'm going to double click and rename it to bass line. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to throw on an EQ. So Pro-Q2 from FabFilter is one of my favorites. And this is just a, um, just a small low cut to take off some of the super lows here that were not necessary. We don't want to take up too much headroom for later on, might get in our way. Yep, that's fine. Uh, next up, I'm going to throw on some saturation. Uh, FabFilter Saturn is one of my favorite saturation plugins, especially for these kind of bases. Um, saturation can change the tone of your bass quite drastically, depending on sort of the settings that you dial in. So just quickly, I'll flick through some presets and you'll hear the tone change quite drastically. So depending on the style of track or the sound that you're going for, you can get very different results from um, dialing different uh, saturation values. Um, the one we're going to work with today, we're just going to work with a preset. It's called Warm Tune Bass 6, 6 bands. Sounds like this. And I'm just probably going to boost this band up a little bit as well. I find it brings out some of that aggressive low mids that we're looking for in this style of bass. Okay, with that done, I'm going to load up uh, a second saturation plugin. Uh, this one's from Plugin Alliance called Black Box Analog Design. Uh, this is brilliant, it's got some really cool sounds in it, uh, sorry, some presets. Uh, for this type of sound, Dirty Weight um, does exactly just that and adds some dirty weight to your sound, so um, I'll play with and without. You can see it just makes it a bit more aggressive and a bit more bitey, which is what we're looking for with this style of um, trance bass line. And then finally, um, on the end here, we're going to work with an LFO tool, XFER LFO tool. Uh, you can do sidechain compression. If you're not familiar with um, sidechain compression as a technique, I highly recommend looking into it. It's a very valuable technique to have in your arsenal. Um, instead of sidechain, what we're just going to do here is some, um, essentially just some amplitude um, modulation with LFO tool here to create that ducking effect that we're looking for that comes with sidechain compression. So I'm going to pull this all the way down. Um, just note that when you load up LFO tool, uh, by default you'll have this sort of a bit of a click every time it comes back on itself. There's two ways to get rid of it. You can pull up on the smooth um, function here. Or just pull back on the node here, which is what I tend to do. Great, I'm just going to shape this a little bit more with the kick playing. Okay, that's great. And then actually what I might just add on the end too is just a bit of a high shelf, a bit of a boost. 
uh, just to bring some of those clicky tops out on the baseline. Um, which will help it cut through the mix a little bit later on when, when the mix is a bit more busy and there's more elements happening. That's pretty much it for the processing. So uh, the final step that I'm going to do is just group these two together. I can do that by clicking the top one, shift clicking the bottom track, right click, select create track stack. Uh, we want a summing stack in this situation. And what that essentially does is takes these two tracks um, and automatically routes them to this new blank auxiliary channel. Um, which now acts as a group channel for these. So I'm going to double click that and rename that kick and bass bus. Great, and we can do some group processing here. So um, essentially what I'm looking to do here is just some um, group compression, just to get them gelling nicely together. So what I'm going to do is load up uh, my favorite plugin for this, which is Waves API 2500. It's a nice um, aggressive compressor for this. Uh, what I'm going to do is bring the attack in. A ratio of 4 to 1 or 6 to 1. Uh, release is pretty good there. Um, this tone type here, depending on the type of sound that you're working with, you can get um, different sounds out of either the new or the old. I think that's uh, foldback or feedback, I'm not quite sure. Um, but with this style of sound, I know that sort of the old one gets a more aggressive and a bit more bitey, so I'm going to work with that one. And then what I'm going to do now is while it's playing, I'll just pull back on the threshold until we get the amount of gain reduction that we're kind of looking for here. I'm looking for anywhere between minus three to minus five dBs of um, gain reduction. So I'll start it playing, I'll pull back on the threshold and look for that. Somewhere there sounds good to me, a little bit more extreme than the minus three to minus five, um, but that's pretty good. So the last thing we want to do is just um, have a listen to the difference that compression is making to make um, better judgments. So what we do is we turn our manual makeup on and then we turn this on and off during playback so we can uh, level match using the gain here until we get them level matched and then sort of have a listen and see what that compression is doing. Okay, I think that's pretty good there. And finally, um, what I'm going to throw in now is just um, some subharmonic um, plugin called uh, Low Air from Waves, uh, just to bring out some of that super low content um, and get it nice and uniform between the kick and the bass. So there's a preset in here be called uh, Very Low Indeed, which is really good. Uh, we want to turn the direct up and the output up. Uh, take all the low off for now, just until we dial it in. Um, the range, we're in G, so this will be somewhere between uh, 48 and 49. And then as I play it, I'll just bring up on the low until I dial in the amount that I am looking for. It's worth noting that you can very easily go overboard on this, especially if you're at home um, mixing on headphones. Um, so just be very careful sort of dial it up to where you where you like the sound of it and then probably pull back just a little bit. Somewhere around there sounds pretty good. Um, this style of kick and bass goes really well with a very minimal drop, so nice big build up, um, very anthemic during the breakdown, uh, lots of builds and sweeps leading up into a pretty much just a kick and a bass drop with maybe some spot effects thrown in for some flavour. Uh, that brings us to the end of our Tech Trance driving baseline tutorial. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.